Coming to you live, Mud Dog Customs. I'm sorry, I forgot to bring y'all back. So I just got it. Wax and grease remover. And tack rag, got it all cleaned up. And now, hello. There y'all. Yes, I suck at videoing. But, bringing y'all back, I forgot to bring y'all back for this. On this, show you a little something here. See that one to one? That's your mix ratio. One part color, one part urethane reducer. Alright, so that's your color. That's your reducer. So what we're doing, you wanna look on here, so it's half and half. So you go 10 parts paint and then 20. This is ounces. 10 ounces paint. Go to 20 ounces on your reducer. So very simple. This is a part that I struggled with when I first started. I was scared of it. Just like the clear coat. Clear coat is four to one. So let me show you right here. Oh man, I was scared of this mess when I first started. But it is simple. Show you on a different cam. One of these new ones. All right, so. So you got four to one right here. Mix ratio. So you see, so you just say five. Five on the number four. Next column, go to your five on one. So it's, see if I can see it. Five parts clear, and then you go from there, that five to that five with the hardener. <clears throat> so it's four to one. And when the paint people sell you this paint, they'll tell you, they'll sell you what you need. So this is, I like Nason, this is some pretty good. Had a truck that sit in the sunlight his whole life. This Nason lasted 18 years on that truck and it got washed once a year probably. I sold it to a friend and he just let it be a yard or an ornament. And the paint lasted 18 years. So Nason clear. And then they say you this mid temp hardener. You do slow, medium, high with your temperature. So I should have slow, but I don't only got medium. So I'll go extra slow and extra heavy on my clear. Woo! But so you do your, and then you got a rule of thumb. You wait, I think it's 10 minutes in between your base coats. Spray your base, wait 10 minutes, spray another base, wait 10 minutes. Do three wet coats of base, three wet coats of clear. So, 10 minutes in between or so. And when and you go more, it's fine. Don't go less. You want it to flash out. And then when you, like, dry. And then when you go to the clear, you're going to wait 15 minutes in between the base coat to the clear coat. And that'll give that time to harden up. If you spray the clear over wet base, it look like brake fluid got on it and it'll wrinkle up. It's called frying. It fried it. You don't want that. You gotta stop, start all over again, sand it back down, prep it, da 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 da. Yeah, it's aggravating. Sorry about all the mess, but man, I work, I ain't got time to clean. Which I need to clean it to make my work better. It's not 100 degrees in this shop, it's 100 degrees on that wall. It's probably 85 in here, 88. Yeah, we, I'm gonna hang this phone up over there. We're gonna lay some bass. I'm gonna put my respirator on so you won't be able to hear my big mouth. Hang this phone. So we're gonna be spraying this. You want 50% overlap. Your fan on your spray. It'll come out about that wide. So you're gonna 50% overlap. You're gonna, and you want to angle your gun with the panel. Angle your gun, 50% overlap. 50% overlap. And you want to walk the whole car. Especially if you're doing metallics or pearls. <laughs> walk the whole car. I'm gonna start with the roof. Do the roof. Go around there, do that side of the roof. Then I'm gonna come, come around and do the easier part. 
Yeah, y'all hang in there with me. Y'all look at it to the end. Let it play in the background. It'll help you out on YouTube. Finish stirring this paint up. Get my paint stirred up real good. Mix that reducer in that paint. Old guys used to paint with new respirators. I'll share this with you before I start. So I had a friend, a guy on YouTube I was looking at, and he said, man, my cup, it keeps on blowing the seal out right here. These little plastic cups, uh, they, it'll build pressure in them. So it's like gas. Hotter it is, it, it expands, and it'll blow that seal out, and it'll start leaking paint, then that paint will drip on what you're trying to spray. So I always burp it like a baby bottle. You burp that. That'll give it room to expand. I learned that the hard way. Okay. And then I cleaned my gun out with thinner. So the gun still got thinner in this neck. If you go ahead and spray that on there, man, it'll have fish eyes all over it. Ask me how I know. I done it. So first time you want to clean the throat out, what I call it, then go to spray it. Hang with me. I learned you something. 